troubling testimony in the trial of Elizabeth Holmes today. The prosecution is trying to prove the former Theranos CEO knew the company's machines didn't work, and even still, she continued to bring in hundreds of millions of dollars from investors. Let's bring in our business and tech reporter, Scott Budman, who spent the day like every other day in the courtroom. Scott. Well, hey, Garvin and Terry. Testimony today in the trial coming from former Theranos lab director Adam Rosendorf. He said when he joined the company, he was hoping to be a part of the next Apple, but said it wasn't long before alarm bells started to go off. Rosendorf testifying that the same sample tested on multiple Theranos machines in the lab often came back with different results, and that he was told to use blood testing machines from other companies like Siemens, even inside the Theranos lab. He says as the deadline to release the company's machine publicly drew near, he went straight to Elizabeth Holmes with his concern and said at least once what he told her made her very nervous. And for the lab director to go to her directly to her office and to tell her to raise his concerns, I think he said nine days before the launch, is very problematic. For the defense. Rosendorf told jurors he left Theranos in late 2014. This was about a year before the first Wall Street Journal stories detailing the company's problems came out. Now, his testimony, to an extent, bolsters the case for the prosecution that Holmes was not only in charge at Theranos, but also knew about flaws in the machines and kept that information from the public and investors. We will hear more from Rosendorf and a cross-examination next week. Garvin.